This is what you currently have in your car, a Tesla steering wheel. This is a Tesla steering wheel stripped down to the core and built back up with real molded carbon fiber. And what we're going to do is take this steering wheel frame and put it in your car. How do we do that? By entering your car, we're gonna show you how to take your airbag off, how to disconnect your airbag, and how to put this steering wheel on your column and put this airbag inside, how to connect everything, and then there's no warranty issues because you are putting a Tesla OEM steering wheel, brand new, we purchased them from Tesla Service Center, and putting it in your car. So you're just simply switching your airbag from your wheel to this wheel. Simple enough? Hi, it's Mark, RPM Tesla. We've got three beautiful steering wheels here to show you today. The first one in the center with the fully assembled airbag is our matte finish with soft Nappa leather. These have been completely replaced from the vehicle and you'll see this uh, is very soft to the touch, repadded. And again, this is our matte finish, which matches the interior perfectly in your Tesla. And the second one here on the right has a glossy finish with the soft Nappa leather. This one is unassembled, meaning the airbag assembly is not inside. This is how the steering wheel will arrive, all wrapped up. And last here on the left is our Alcantara wrapped with a glossy finish. This is a very beautiful soft feel. This matches the Alcantara on the top of your dashboard or your headliner in your Tesla. And again, they all come with these beautiful T logos and the bottom steering wheel triangle as well. Okay, again, on the other side of the steering wheel, everything is there. The two screws that release the airbag, we're gonna show you how to install it. But when you get your steering wheel, it's all going to be wrapped up, all protected like this, all bubble wrap, stretch wrap, manufacturing date, Tesla OEM part number, and these are exactly how we get them from the dealership. So again, the leather will be all covered, and this is how it will arrive in the box. Today we're going to show you how to install your brand new carbon fiber molded steering wheel. These are the tools that it came with, along with this little triangle that we are going to apply this applique at the bottom of it when we're all done. But this is what you should have got in the box. And unwrapped, you'll notice we put a piece of blue tape on here. This is the only contact area that we want to cover up while we're installing it, just to make sure we don't scratch anything. Okay, now we're in the vehicle and we're going to show you guys how easy it is to take off the steering wheel and replace the airbag and put your new wheel on. These are the two tools we sent you free of charge. I'm gonna put those right down here. The first thing we recommend doing is just turning the vehicle off. So if you go to your control and your settings under power brake and power it off the vehicle. As soon as you step on the brake pedal, it'll power back up. 
Okay, now we're gonna shoot this in real time. We're not going to shoot this like some of our competitors do where they don't actually show you step by step what to do. But on the back of the steering wheel are two nuts or two openings where the screws don't come out. They stay inside. So you'll notice that we're gonna loosen these two screws up and that's gonna release the airbag. So don't expect these to come out. We're simply gonna loosen them a little bit and then the airbag will come right out. So reaching on the back of the wheel and you can still turn the wheel to get this um, T25 torque bit into this hole. Once you find it and you know you're in, uh, then we're just gonna connect a ratchet and make sure the ratchet is on tighten. We don't wanna loose, we want to loosen it now. We don't wanna tighten it. And so there we go and insert the torque bit. This is very simple. Again, all we're gonna do is loosen it a tiny amount. It's only threaded in a couple bits. Look at that, super simple. Just loosen that up, turn it, and we're halfway done getting the airbag out. Now again, the screw doesn't come out, don't worry about it. Now let's do the other side, and we'll stay right there. And now this arm's hanging down. And we'll get the torque bit in the little spot. Connect the ratchet. So you will need a ratchet, quarter inch and a three eighths to take off the center bolt. All right, now the airbag is ready to come out. Believe it or not, it was that simple. We're gonna turn the steering wheel back and show you from this point of view. And then we're going to grab the steering wheel and pull it away from the wheel core. It's all snap unsnapping at this point. Nothing is holding it in. Now, there are two cords behind the steering wheel that we will be disconnecting and then reconnecting. So after we get the wheel all disconnected, we'll show you all the points that are holding it in. And if it's not completely loose, you'll know. Let's go back here, and I think that this side is not completely loose. So again, we're not editing this. We're doing it real time. Okay, that's spinning freely, and this one's spinning freely. And now we're going to take the airbag out, okay? Simple, now we're gonna have a little peek inside. Notice that this says yellow, and this is purple. These are the two connections. So you're gonna be taking your airbag out of this wheel core and putting it back in to your new wheel. All right, so we pinch these two pins and the clips disconnect. So you notice these two pins on the yellow, we squeeze them together and it comes right out. There's one, okay. Same thing on the purple one. We've got two pins on the top and bottom. We push them in sometimes and make sure they're in straight. Push the two releases and the pins, it comes right out. So this is your airbag. And each of these cords is re are required for the electrical system to work on the switches in your airbag. Now, this is a very important part. If you find one more wire in here, it means you have the hot, the cold weather package, which means your steering wheel is completely heated all the way around. So if you do have a wire here and it is connected, pinch it, squeeze it, disconnect it. You're gonna hook it up to your steering wheel and you're gonna have a heated steering wheel. Our competition doesn't have this, but we do. What we do with the, heat, the heated steering wheel element is that we disconnect it when we strip down the entire core and we put the heated element in both sides of the steering wheel. So your steering wheel will still be heated on the new beautiful Napa leather that we're gonna install on the ends. So all this leather is getting ripped off and thrown away. You're gonna get a new wheel with brand new soft leather. And again, if you have the cold weather package, you'll have one extra pin to connect, which will allow the heat to be transferred into the steering wheel, okay? Right now, this vehicle doesn't have that. So you don't have that condition. All right, next thing I wanna point out is this green line. This is installed on here by Tesla when they torque this down to the settings 
that they build when they when they build the vehicle. So this lineup guideline tells you where to start and end this nut when we pull it off. So let's get our second part out. Okay, this is our 10 millimeter Allen wrench hex that goes right in there. Simple. All we're gonna do now with this is use a ratchet of any kind or size. You can use a longer torque wrench like we have here, but any size socket ratchet will work. And what we're gonna do is keep the wheel level here because we don't wanna start it crooked and put it on and have the steering wheel not lined up properly. So we're going to level the steering wheel, hold it with your knees, and we're gonna insert the socket. And don't forget, this is all done for free. If you're in Southern California, we'll hook this up for you free of charge at our office. So I'm taking the bar and I'm going to turn it left to loosen it. And it broke free pretty easy. Notice the green line, okay? It turned about a quarter turn to break free of the tension. So we're gonna tighten that back up right to that specified dimension or the Tesla locking point when they built your vehicle. So right now, we're gonna unscrew it and hook up the new wheel. Notice the center bolt is turning. Okay. And once we get it loose, get it off. Okay. And you'll notice that this is the bolt with the green line. And we're going to line it up at 6 o'clock on the new wheel. Okay. So make a note of that. Now here comes the steering wheel removal. Straight off. Simple. This gets returned to us, or you can keep it, and uh, you'll have an extra wheel if you ever want to go back to original, like maybe you're leasing the car, and your next Tesla, you might want to uh, put your carbon fiber wheel in a Model S or a Model X. They both work on both vehicles. So let's put this aside, and you send it back to us for your $400 refund. Okay, here's the new heavy-duty wheel, and again, we're going to put it on completely straight. Just like this, we're going to line the spline up, come closer, we're going to line the spline up just like this and slide it straight on and right exactly where we want to be. Okay, and the first step is putting the bolt back on the center. It's self-guiding, so as soon as you start to thread it, you'll have no problem. Threading it straight on. And then we're going to use the ratchet or bolt to tighten it up some more. So now we're going righty tighty <laughs> and hold the center and turn. Now this is probably going to go around once, once and a half, depending on how strong you were when you were doing it by hand. And the bolt has made about three revolutions watching the green pin. And now it's getting tight. So you will start to feel it getting tight and you wanna go a quarter turn extra. So you just simply go a quarter turn more all the way down to the bottom. And that's torqued at 140. And we're ready to put the airbag in. Okay, the next step is reinserting the airbag. And again, we have the yellow tag and the purple tag. And don't worry, they're labeled. Just insert the yellow one, lock it in, insert the purple one. When you're doing this with your new steering wheel, you might want to leave all the wrapping on and unwrap it while uh, after you've completed this. Okay, so these several rubber points are going to line up with the mating parts on the steering wheel. There's one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight little rubber holes that these round nail-like half circular heads enter into. And that's what holds it in. And then the screws on the back to secure it. So I think it's smart to have this tape down here because you might end up resting this on here. And there are no sharp edges on this plastic, but I just don't like these points. And I wouldn't want to scratch up the carbon fiber on my steering wheel. All right, so now we've got to get our eight points lined up. So I like to start on the top up here. You'll see the first two. Those are gonna be our guide pins. So we put the wheel up here, you lean over, and you make sure that you're pushing in these two nails. Sort of like a nail. And once you push that in and that in, you'll feel the wheel grabbing. Then we're gonna come down here to the leather sides. And once it's in, this will be completely flush. We'll get to that in a second. Now we've got these two gaps down here, which might require some more light. But these gaps here are gonna be completely pushed in. So we raise the bottom up and push upward. Now these have grabbed. We push this in a little bit and these have grabbed. That's it. Your steering wheel is in place. It's completely locked in. All eight points or eight buttons. And you'll notice it's completely flush all the way around with no gaps. And we'll take a close up look to show you that. So this here is completely flush. You can barely get your fingernail in it. That's how you know that your steering wheel is completely inserted correctly. Next is printing or tightening the screws that are built into the wheel. So remember they're in the back. We put the T25 torque bit in and just start turning it. And it will automatically grab into the wheel, into the uh, housing actually, for the, for the airbag. And then this side. So I'm just hand tightening these now. You don't need to over tighten them. The airbag is held in by those 12 pins or rubber mating parts. And then we're gonna make sure we're tightening. Turn the wheel back, insert the torque bit. And snugly tighten it, simple. Easy to do. Same thing on the bottom here. And that's it. Okay, last but not least to making this steering wheel look beautiful. We've given you a carbon fiber T that you'll put on the steering wheel here. This customer has a white T. So the last thing we wanna do is take off the blue tape. So lift it up like this and slide out this piece. If anything gets stuck in there, it's easy to get loose. And again, editing we're not doing. <laughs> All right, look at that, what a perfect fit that is. And the last thing is taking the Tesla adhesive applique. Now this is a molded carbon fiber piece uh, underneath this beautiful gel. So we have the Tesla letters on it. And you just simply remove it from here. Take the 3M sticker off the back if it has one. And that fits perfectly on the lower triangular leg or the extension of the steering wheel. So that's it. Your airbag, your electronics, put into an RPM Tesla molded carbon fiber steering wheel that was built on a brand new Tesla steering wheel core. So you've changed nothing except put a beautiful wheel in your car. Everything is completely warranted. Nothing has changed. Your airbag, everything is normal. 
beautiful. Just get your hands on here and feel this. This Napa leather is super soft. We strip all the material off, like I've said a few times, and put the soft Napa leather on. The other choice is the Alcantara, which is very uh, beautiful as well. It comes from Italy, and it's called Super Alcantara. So we're going to have the stitching in gray, light gray, and dark gray uh, around the leather handles. And again, if you have a heated steering wheel, when you go into your controls and you turn your heat on, these sides will heat up with the RPM Tesla steering wheel. All right, that's it. Any questions, call us. If you live in California, just drive over or we'll meet you somewhere and we'll help you get it installed. These are beautiful. It's a great enhancement. It matches the carbon fiber interior very nicely in all the cars, especially a car with carbon fiber. And again, this is a matte finish on the dashboard, matte and glossy. So these are available in glossy or matte, same price. Thanks again, RPM Tesla.